Hello everyone and welcome to ES Repair again. I'm your host, the Wiz Kid. Today I'm going to show you how to check a spark plug and see if it's firing. As you may have seen in a previous video that we just did with this tiller, I showed you how to check the magneto. Now I'm going to test to see if it's sparking. I may have already done this in an earlier video that I did about a month or two ago involving a weed eater blower. There's three or four different types in line, then one like this, then they also make another one to the company, Paul Indian Company, but I don't have that one. What you do with this one? It's got a neon bulb in it, take five volts, put it on there like so, then put the other end in the spark plug wire. Then pull and see if it'll fire. And here I'll demonstrate that again with the lights out. where you can at least see it better. Then they got this one. It just clamps onto the ground somewhere. Like that thing there, post. Put the other end of there. You're probably going to come around to see this one. Then you just check if it's arcing between the screw and the other end there, like so. That's the way you can check to see if it's spark plug putting that voltage or the magneto. But just because your spark plug or your magneto is working, don't mean the spark plug is. You can check that a couple of ways. By taking the spark plug out. And then, it just burn a little. Put it in the spark plug up next to some ground like that. Then you just pull on it and see if your spark plug. Jump fire. Like so. Should jump down at the end, but it could accidentally jump over where it's grounded too. And again, I'll turn the lights out a little, where you can see that. This will let you know if the spark plug is working or not. It's sparking there as well as over here, but mostly you won't be concerned there. And the more hotter looking or white the fire is, the better it is. And you reinstall your spark plug. But if it don't fire, and you know you got a good ground, and you know your spark plug's bad, and they need to replace it. Careful not to strip anything out. And put it wire back on. And now, I'm going to show you, before I hook the magnetic coil back up, how to check your spark plug. First, you get your proper size socket that fits it. 
be careful not to break it. You want to keep the socket straight on there, not get it over to either side. You really need to use a socket that designed specifically for spark plug. Got that rubber boot in there, that helps. Especially if you're not used to taking one out. And another thing I want to stress is that kill wire, if you don't put it back on, you start your motor, you won't have no way to kill your motor except by pulling the spark plug off. Now, that can be dangerous, especially if you're outside and you're training or something. Because it will shock you with high voltage. First thing that I do when I clean the spark plug up, just have to get rid of all the crud and everything on it. Spray it off. Carburetor cleaner real good. And if it's real bad, I'll get me a pick or something like a flat screwdriver, a little one, and clean out down there. Like so. Because this stuff could fire your fart plug out as well, cause it to misfire. Or not fire. Clean it real good. Then I'll take it over a wire brush. Most of them will unscrew and it could unscrew and go flying and you lose it. If you lose it, you're in trouble. It may put a little more cleaner on it, get all the dirt out. This will not bring a bad spark plug when it's done filed out and don't work something back to life. So don't think it'll do that. This will only help a spark plug that's still working. And a good thing to do is check the gap on it, which is the gap between the two electrodes here. I don't know what it's supposed to be on this spark plug for this engine, but these are the tools that make different kind that you use around one like this or this kind that put on a key ring. All you do is stick it on there, small end first. And slide it up to where it stops. This one's almost 30 thousandths of an inch. You want it wide enough for it to jump the gap pretty good, and that'll help burn some of the oil off instead of being closed real up real good. I'm gonna leave this one on about oh I don't know. 35,000. That should work. And you do it on the round with something like that. I'll put it on this ball in and pull it around to where it stop. 35,000. But to set it, you need to know what your motor specific spark plug gap is supposed to be, no matter what kind of motor you're working on. And they make different spark plugs for different types of small engines. A big engine like off of a car or something spark plug, well it may fit in there, they're not properly designed for a small engine. Then if it's off a little bit, you can take your little screwdriver or something and prise it up, or if it's gap too much, then take a little something and take it down. Then, be sure not to cross thread, because some spark plugs are located in a bad spot. Kind of screwed up in there. And, Put your wrench on it, keeping it straight, and just tighten it up pretty good. But don't over tighten it where you break something or strip the threads out in the head. And then put your plug wire back on it. Sometimes, depending on if it's got a spring in there or a little clip or what kind it's got or round like this, there. You might need to take your pair of pliers 
squeeze it together a little bit, make it stay on better. Make sure that's getting tight. You push it on until you hear a click, and there you go. The motor should be ready to start. Or not. What well, you got? Remember, this motor ain't gonna start while well, it's got to suck the gas up. Oh, it works. There you go. Thanks for watching.